Hi all, welcome to Iconic with Daya, where we dive into the lives of some of the most iconic women in fashion and cinema, stick around, and subscribe so you never miss a thing. Today we are going to be talking about Jennifer Beals, born December 19, 1963. She is an American actress. She made her film debut in My Bodyguard, 1980, before receiving critical acclaim for her performance as Alexander Owens in Flashdance, 1983, for which she won an double ACP Image Award for Outstanding Actress in a Motion Picture and was nominated for the Golden Globe Award for Best Actress, Motion Picture Comedy or Musical. Beals has appeared in several films including Vampire's Kiss, 1988, Mrs. Parker and the Vicious Circle, 1994, Devil in a Blue Dress, 1995, The Last Days of Disco, 1998, Roger Dodger, 2002, The Book of Eli, 2010, Before I Fall, 2017, and Luckiest Girl Alive, 2022. On television, she starred in shows such as The Chicago Code, 2011, Proof, 2015, Taken, 2017, and The Book of Boba Fett, 2021. She is best known for her portrayal of Beth Porter on the Showtime drama series The L Word, 2004-2009, which earned her a nomination for the Satellite Award for Best Actress, Television Series Drama. She reprised her role as Beth Porter and served as an executive producer on the sequel series The L Word, Generation Q, 2019-2023. Beals was born and raised in the south side of Chicago, Illinois, the daughter of Jean, Nay Anderson, an elementary school teacher, and Alfred Beals, who owned grocery stores. Beals's father was African American, and her mother is Irish American. She has two brothers, Bobby and Gregory. Her father died when Beals was nine, after which she spent a summer at Keeley, Colorado camps in Estes Park, Colorado. Her mother married Edward Cohen in 1981. 8. Beals says that her biracial heritage affected her. Of her youth, she says that she always lived sort of on the outside, with a feeling of being the other in society. Beals's first job was at age 13 at an ice cream store, using her height at the time, she is now 5 feet 8 in, 1.73 meters, to convince her boss she was 16 years old. Two key moments inspired Beals to pursue a career in acting, working on her high school's production of Fiddler on the Roof, and seeing Bomb and Gilead, with Joan Allen while volunteer ushering at the Steppenwolf Theater. Beals graduated from Francis W. Parker School in Chicago, 10, then participated in Goodman Theater Young People's Drama Workshop. She graduated from Yale University with a B.A. in American Literature in 1987. While at Yale, Beals was a resident of Morse College. She deferred a term so she could perform in the feature film Flashdance. Beals had a minor role in the 1980 film My Bodyguard, then came to fame with her starring part in Flashdance. The third highest grossing U.S. film of 1983, Flashdance is the story of 18 year old Alex, a welder by day and sensual dancer by night, whose dream is to be accepted someday at an illustrious school of dance. Beals was cast for this key role while still a student at Yale. She was nominated for a Golden Globe and the film received an Academy Award for Best Song. Many of Beals's elaborate dance moves were actually performed by dance double Marine Jahan. Gymnast Sharon Shapiro performed the flips as a body double for actress Beals. After she filmed Flashdance, Beals resumed her studies, making only one film during that time, playing the title role in The Bride with singer actor Sting, a gothic horror film loosely based on the 1935 classic Bride of Frankenstein, shot during her summer break. She also appeared as Cinderella in an episode of Fairy Tale Theater, opposite Matthew Broderick. Beals was asked by Joel Schumacher to do St. Elmo's Fire but turned it down, preferring to stay at Yale. After graduating from Yale in 1987, Beals resumed her acting career, playing the love interest in the boxing film Split Decisions opposite Craig Sheffer. Starring opposite Nicolas Cage, she portrayed a lusty and thirsty vampire in 1989's Vampire's Kiss. In 1995, Beals and Denzel Washington co-starred in Devil in a Blue Dress, a period film based on a Walter Mosley novel featuring a private detective, Easy Rollins. Beals plays a biracial woman passing for white. 
that same year she appeared with Tim Roth in two segments of the four-story anthology Four Rooms, one of which was directed by her then-husband, Alexandra Rockwell. Rockwell had previously directed her in the 1992 independent film In the Soup, which was a grand prize winner at the Sundance Film Festival. In 2003, she played one of the sequestered jury members in the film adaptation of Runaway Jury. She had a leading role in 2006's The Grudge 2, sequel to the hit horror film of two years earlier. In 2010, Beals reunited with Denzel Washington in the post-apocalyptic action drama The Book of Eli, where she played a blind woman who is the mother of Mila Kunis' character and a consort of a local despot played by Gary Oldman. Beals portrayed UCLA Bruins gymnastics head coach Valerie Condos Field, in the film Full Out, about Ariana Berlin. In 2017, Beals played the role of Samantha Kingston's mother, in the film version of Before I Fall. In 2019, she played the role of Karen in the romantic film After. In 1992, she appeared in 2000 Malibu Road as attorney Perry Quinn. It was her first television series, she said she had been leery as she previously had not found a character I wanted to live with for several years. In 2004, Beals made a brief cameo in the final episode of Frasier. In 2007, she appeared in the small TV drama My Name is Sarah, in which she plays Sarah Winston, a sober woman who inadvertently walks in on an alcoholic's anonymous meeting and is mistaken for an alcoholic, but finds herself falling in love with a recovering alcoholic and, as a result, having to deal with her original deception in joining the group. Beals starred in Showtime's The L Word, wherein she played Bette Porter, an Ivy League-educated lesbian. At Beals's request, Bet was made biracial, enabling Pam Grier's Kit Porter character to become Bet's half-sister. Beals's initial research for the part focused more on the woman's profession as an art museum director than on her life as a lesbian. I was much more obsessed by the work that Bet did, because she was so obsessed by the work that she did. The series ran for six seasons and ended in March 2009. She also appears alongside Tim Roth in Light to Me, as Cal Lightman's ex-wife, Zoe Landau. Beals was the female lead in Fox's TV drama The Chicago Code. Her character Teresa Colvin is Chicago's first female police superintendent. The series was cancelled after its first season. Beals turned down an offer to appear on Dancing with the Stars, saying, I am not a dancer. They asked me and I said no. You could back up a truck to my door filled with cash and I wouldn't do it. In 2013, Beals signed on for the main role of the ABC drama pilot West Side produced by McGee and developed by Eileen Chaikin. On March 10, 2014, it was announced that Beals would star as Dr. Catherine Russo in Proof, a TNT supernatural medical drama about a hard-nosed surgeon, struggling with the loss of her teenage son, who begins to investigate that there may be life after death. The series ran from June 16 through August 18, 2015, and was produced by Kira Sedgwick. On February 27, 2017, Beals played the leader of a small group of specially trained government operatives for the new series Taken, which serves as a prequel to the Taken film series. In September 2018, Beals was cast in the role of Sheriff Lucilia Cable for the Swamp Thing series. In December 2019, Beals reprised her role as Bette Porter in The L Word, Generation Q, the sequel series to The L Word, and also executive produces the show. She stars alongside fellow The L Word cast members, Catherine Monig and Leisha Haley. In December 2021, Beals appeared in the series premiere of The Book of Boba Fett, a Disney Plus series in the Star Wars franchise, where she portrays the Twi'lek Garsa Whip. In 2022, Beals appeared as art gallery owner Cassandra Webb in the NBC series Law & Order, organized crime for five episodes. Beals is also well known for her support of women's rights. In August 2012, she appeared alongside Troy and Belisario in the web series Lauren on the YouTube channel Wigs. Its first season is a three-episode arc featuring the stories of women in the army being abused, predominantly by more powerful superiors. The stories focused on frequently unreported cases of sexual abuse and how and why most of the cases went unreported or unsettled. Beals has also appeared in two interviews, discussing her views in relation to Lauren. 
In January 2013, Troyan Belisario confirmed on her Twitter and Instagram that she and Beals were filming more Lauren Webb episodes. Lauren returned on May 3, 2013, with a second season of 12 episodes. While attending Yale, Beals dated future film executive Robert Simons. She married Alexander Rockwell in 1986, before divorcing in 1996. In 1998, she married Ken Dixon, a Canadian entrepreneur. On October 18, 2005, Beals gave birth to their daughter. Dixon also has two children from a previous marriage. Beals has described herself as a spiritual person. She has expressed interest in the Bible and Catholicism, as well as Judaism, to which she once considered converting, and is a practicing Buddhist. She has been a vocal advocate for gay rights, saying, I think after playing Bette Porter on the L Word for six years I felt like an honorary member of the community. Beals was a celebrity grand marshal at the 2006 San Francisco Pride Parade. In October 2012, she received the Human Rights Campaign's Ally for Equality Award, in recognition of her outstanding support for the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community. Beals is a practitioner of Kung Fu, Sancho, and kickboxing, and is a triathlete. Beals is a photographer and has had shows featuring her work under her married name, Dixon. In 1989, she spent some time in Haiti photographing the elections. She published a book about her time on the L Word featuring her own photographs. In 2010, Beals served as the Grand Marshal of the McDonald's Thanksgiving Parade in Chicago, during which she spoke of the two charities important to her, the Matthew Shepard Foundation and Pablo Foundation. Thank you for watching till the end. Please subscribe, like this video and comment down below. Hit that notification button so you never miss a thing. Thank you and bye.